am I losing my memory? No, I, I'm not able to even remember things which, which just happened, you know, in the morning. I keep, I keep my spectacles in some place and after that I've been searching and then I realize that it's there on my, you know, uh, you know, on my face. Is that something which is happening right now with some of you? And in fact, what I'm seeing is that many people are actually suffering from this kind of problems. And uh, most of the time they start thinking that, okay, maybe starting point of a dementia, it could be even Alzheimer's disease because people are quite familiar with all these kinds of diseases nowadays. So the, the moment you start getting any of those kinds of, uh, um, you know, situations, you immediately start correlating that with one or other diseases. Now, what is the reality and is there a way out? See, we need to understand some fundamentals about the brain. Our brain comprises of billions of neurons. It's being said that around 100 billion neurons. Nobody must have counted it, but still that is the kind of numbers we generally hear. And neurons get connected with one another. So generally we say that neurons fire together, they wire together, they connect with one another. So when you think about anything, when you talk, when you do some action, all those things, all those time, your, your neurons are firing, your neurons are getting connected. And interestingly, from childhood onward, there are so many neurons which have been functioning in tandem with the rhythm because some of the activities what you do is so regular that your brain knows, your neurons knows and the same neurons fire and wire. Generally, we say that the, the neurons which fire together, wire together. Now the people, most of the people, what they do is that they make everything so routine that you go to the office on a specific, you know, the same route. You, uh, even for that matter, you know, imagine you, you are having dinner at home, but still you will sit on the same chair. You always sit. Isn't that right? We, we go to a, a marriage function. And the first thing what we do once we reach there is that we will start searching for people who are familiar with us. Because brain is one organ which wants to choose the path of least resistance. Brain doesn't want to consume energy for newer things, you know, experimenting new things. So as a result, the brain always forces us to do and repeat the things which we have been doing all the time. But whether it's a good thing or bad thing is a different issue altogether. However, one thing is very clear. The lesser you use the neural connectivities, you know, you are creating more of waste stages. The more you use the neural connections, the neural connections become stronger and stronger. That means if you, you know, become a slave to your brain, because your brain wants to choose always a path of least resistance. So if you decide that you are a slave to the brain, whatever the brain decides, that's what it's going to happen. Even though you want to do something new, you want to taste a new uh, food, but your brain is saying that, hey, come on, you know, something which is not familiar, why should you try that? You wanted to, you want to meet some strangers at the same time, the brain is actually giving a command that no, 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 don't do that. You know, why do you want to meet those people? Who knows how they're going to respond? So always brain wants to maintain in that path of least resistance and the familiarity song. The moment you start breaking those familiarity songs, that means even though you have a resistance, a hesitation to meet people, but still you are going out and meeting people. That means there are some new neural activities which are happening. So the moment you start giving more and more neural activities or new neural connectivities, that's where actually your brain functions at the best level, even though your brain doesn't want to do that. So the most important thing is that some of the people or many people right now are so routine in their life that everything is something like a robotic system. They don't, they don't make any changes. The patterns are the same. So as a result, you know, what happens is that the activities inside the brain or the neural connectivities or new neural connectivities are not getting established. 
One thing you should know is that the memory center for your brain is called hippocampus. And there is an old school which always believed that as you age, your neural connectivities fail, one and two, as you age, new neurons are not coming out or other new neurons are not getting created. Both are now uh, proven to be wrong. Neurogenesis, that means the new neurons are being born, which happens inside the hippocampus, which happens even when you are in your 90s. But the only thing is that you have to continuously challenge your brain. You need to engage into new, new activities. You need to, um, you know, go through unfamiliar roads, you know, roads less traveled. You need to take up things which you haven't done much. You need to experiment things. You need to go to new restaurants which you haven't visited. And when you visit a restaurant, when you're ordering food, try something new. Always try something new. Make some changes in your life all the time so that your brain becomes always dynamic. This is very important to maintain an absolutely powerful memory. There are many other techniques which you can practice to enhance your memory, which is very, very important nowadays. Because nowadays what's happening is that the machines are having greater memory. Your mobile phone has got a great memory. Your laptop is having a great memory. Good old times we used to remember phone numbers. Nowadays it is not required because your mobile phone is carrying all the mobile numbers. Even you may not know your, uh, you know, um, you know, most uh, beloved, uh, your friend's phone number by number. So, so the usage of brain, the neural connectivities and neural activities are coming down day after day. We need to be very careful about that. So I would be definitely sharing some or some more, uh, uh, you know, additional information about how you can enhance your memory and also enhance the overall cognition, cognitive power of your brain in the coming videos. Thank you so much.